What's going down? And thanks for tuning in. Season one, episode eight of Heck and Release. We've had a lot of wins the past two weeks, so I haven't had a chance to get on the water much. So I've been really just making up my lures and my tackle to get ready when I do have a chance. So I have my, I do all my jigs on leaders. If you can see, but I start off with an 18 to 24 inch model filament line. I do a barrel knot with these power swivels. That looks like that. So I do a barrel knot to that swivel, and then I do a loop knot to the other side to my actual jig, depending on what jig I'm using. But either way, I do this loop knot. If you can see it, because this loop knot will allow when I'm swimming it to have the movement it needs while I'm swimming it. And like I said, I make them all up. So here's a sixteenth ounce. I got a quarter ounce. I have a weedless with no weight. And I have a 316th jig already, rattle tail. So anyways, I have all these already set up. And on my rod, the rod I use is an old 18 suppressor rod. I don't know if you can see it. It's an ultralight model. And then I put... clips on my braid line so which allow me just to swap out whenever I need to my lures like I had my calico candy on it you saw my last video slam it up and then say I swap out to that and then go to a corky I was saying I'm going out to trout or something different and I'll just swap out my leader to my tactical clip put the new one on and I'm ready to fish for my setup, like I said, I do have a suppressor ultralight with an Okuma 1000 Inspira carbon fiber reel. What I really like about this setup, guys, is that it's super light. I cast about 200 to 250 times a day on my kayak, so the weight is very important to me. And also the way I fight the fish. If you use a real heavy rod and a big reel, you just horse them in and it's really no fun. When you have an ultralight rod and an ultralight setup, each fish, I mean, it's really hand to hand because you don't, you don't, you're not really forcing them in. You really have to tire them out to bring it in. And if you've seen in my videos, man, sometimes it takes me eight to 10 minutes just to bring in a fish because I'm actually fighting them. It's a give and take, give and take. And when they get to my boat, I mean, they're exhausted. And it's, that's, that's the funnest part for me, the actual fight, because I, I do release them. So I like to give a, the fish a fair chance and try to use the lightest tackle possible to, to make it both enjoyable for both me and the fish. So that's why I love my ultralight setup. I did have a little heavier setup, a medium, and also an old 18. Unfortunately, I lost it in the wind about three weeks ago when I was trying to film. But that's another story for another day. Uh... The positive note, besides the wind, is while I was trying to get all my tackle ready, I, I had some trouble finding. As a matter of fact, I couldn't find these tactical clips that I enjoyed using. So I, I was, in the meantime, I was using these little, these other clips that they sell. But I don't like the way you have to unhinge them to swap out the actual lures. And I stumbled on to the best tackle shop in town, hands down. I put my name on it. It's Finn. Factory Kayak and Tackle, located on 9023 Hebner. Awesome tackle shop, guys. I wish I would have known them three weeks ago or months ago when I was doing my setups because they have everything you need from the Rabzilla stuff to, for your kayak outfitting to your GoPro mounts, life jackets, Bixby motors, Hobie kayaks, Z-Man lures, Six Cents wake baits. You name it, and they have it. And the best thing is that it's, it's tackle. The tackle they have there, it's proven tackle. It's good tackle. And it's going to catch you lots of fish. A lot of times when you go to Academy or Bass Pro Shops, they're just, there's overwhelming amount of stuff. And half the stuff, you don't even know how to swim it or if it works or it's proven. Everything at this store has caught fish and will catch you fish. So I definitely hope you stick around for the video that I'm about to show you. 
Also, a quick little shout out to my boy, Sal. And I wish him a speedy recovery from back surgery. With that being said, guys, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a little bit overcast, but I'm coming over to my favorite tackle shop, Alpha Outdoors, the Fin Factory Kayak and Tackle Company. It's a wonderful place here on San Antonio, Texas on Hebner Road, where you can find all the tackle you ever need to slang them fish. Here's the hours, location. Let's come on in and check it out. And here's one of the owners here, the third degree fishing. What's going on? Tournament winner. Yeah. And there's actually a tournament coming up in a few weeks. Yeah, May uh, May 21st will be the Fin Attic, I mean the Fin Attic, the Fin Factory uh, Hobie owners uh, down on the Ranches Pass. You can register here or you can register online, 100 bucks to get in. And uh, we're putting up a Hobie Outback again, plus cash, that's first, pla uh, first place. I'm um, not too sure as far as what second and third will be, but I know they're going to be over a grand. It's either going to be a micro anchor, it'll probably be a, a motor, either a Newport or a Bixby. And uh, of course, we're going to have a bunch of raffles and a bunch of stuff that you can pick up, you know, after the tournament. So it'll be a fun, man. It'll be a fun event. Definitely got to make it out. There was about 90, 95 people last year. So we're hoping to have the same amount of people to make the pot a little bit bigger and, of course, give back to everyone, all the anglers. Awesome.
And when is the actual, it's the 20th, correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The yeah. meeting? We're the 20th, the captain's meeting is that Friday, tournament's that Saturday, and of course you want to stay and hang out till Sunday, you're more than welcome to. Awesome. And what is, uh, and it's for Hobie owners only, correct? Yeah, you gotta have a Hobie, you just gotta be on it. You don't have to own it, you just gotta be on it for this tournament. Perfect. And can you tell us a little bit about what makes Hobie, you know, the premier kayak? Well, man, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's, uh, it's that drive. That kick up drive and that 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 uh that propel drive, not so much a uh not so much the prop drive like the other ones have. Of course with these kick ups, you know, that's another game changer too. That alone the way the holes are developed, they've been doing this for years. So they really figured out what we want, what they need, you know, as far as what we have asked them, as far as input. They're all around man, they just been real communicated with us as you know, as fishermen. You know to figure out what we're what we need on the water out of a kayak so that's that's a big thing too is and then responding to what we told them what we need and and they've come and they developed the kayaks you know that, that are just game changers you know having that rod in your hand the entire time versus you know paddling makes a big difference when you're on the water trying to get as many casts as you can in i agree awesome but yeah and then we're uh here at the shop we're doing installs we do motor installs, we do seat repairs, we do drive repairs. We're working on a we're working on a mount, how to drop a little template in order to keep our micro anchors either on either side or off to the side or whatever. Once we put this Newport motor on, it takes the place of that micro anchor. So here at Fin Factor, we're trying to develop a bracket out of aluminum or starboard in order to keep both back here. Awesome. And how long has this shop been open? Man, we've only been open about three months. We've been about three months and uh, we've had some good foot traffic, but it's mainly just trying to figure out how to get our name out there so people know that we're, where we're at. Being such a new shop, new store, it's hard to get people to know that we've opened up, mm -hmm. you know, especially on this side of town. Of course, they had ACK, but now that we're here, it's just getting more people to understand we're here, that we have these kayaks and they're available. So And the tackle. You have wonderful yeah, tackle here. Like see. I was... Trying to explain earlier. Trying yeah. to make it like a like a one stop shop. You buy your oh. tackle here, you buy your kayak here, and you're pretty much set up ready to go. You know what yeah, I mean? and also the tournaments you set up and all the information you'll have. Yeah, definitely. And that you have actual stock for people to come by. Oh yeah, that's you know? a big thing. Yeah. You know, COVID took a big hit. It hit everyone pretty hard, but now that we're on the back side of it, we're starting to get more kayaks in. We're starting to get more inventory. So just uh, just to just to keep everyone updated. That's how it is, you know. And what if someone come in to buy a Hobie and had, hasn't really used some? Is there a place that you can take them or any yeah. other services you provide in addition? Yeah, definitely. So I'm actually a kayak guy here in San Antonio. I uh, got at uh, Galavitas Lake in Bronick. And as an incentive is if you do a kayak guy trip, kind of like a guy demo trip, 100 bucks of that trip will go to a kayak purchase. So essentially you're paying 70 bucks to go fishing and demo multiple kayaks. So that's something we do uh, that you can come and if you're not, if you're kind of iffy about, you know, a pro angler versus an outback or a compass, that's something we can definitely set you up with. And of course, a hundred bucks will go to your, uh, your purchase. Oh, that's awesome, man. Awesome. And is there a number or what, is there a, you have a card that I can show yeah, yeah. to where, to. We got a, matter of fact, I got one right here. Oh, awesome. We got my card, my, my guide card. Sweet. And uh, the number to the shop is 210-267-5686. Awesome. Awesome. It was a pleasure meeting you, sir. Absolutely. You have a wonderful day. Yes, sir. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the tournament. Yeah, definitely see you out there. Right? All right, brother. Thank you, man. Yes, All right, guys. Check out this wonderful place. Definitely recommend. And here's his information. And let me show you the store hours. If you want to come by and check it out. And there's a number as well.